Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with dbtccourse.com. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Liquid Network. Now, this will be a little bit of a longer video because there's a lot to cover and it'll be kind of intense. However, at the end of it, you'll have a good understanding of how to actually use the Liquid Network. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Now, what is the Liquid Network? So it's a layer two for Bitcoin and other assets like Tether, USDT, that is faster, cheaper, and more private than Bitcoin. LBTC is a special type of asset on the Liquid Network that is pegged one-to-one -one with Bitcoins held by the Liquid Federation. And this is part of an 11 of 15 multi-sig wallet. So what that means is that you need 11 people to get together in order to try and steal your Bitcoin. So there's a little bit of trust here, but trying to convince 11 people to steal somebody else's stuff, like that's kind of a, a big task and I don't foresee any sort of theft happening, but there is that trust element out there. And if you want to read more about the Liquid Network or LBTC, I link to an article over here so you can learn more about it if you're interest, interested in that. But this video is more about actually getting into it and actually using it. So why are people talking about the Liquid Network right now? Well, on-chain fees are ridiculously high at around $10 or more per, per transaction. So there's a lot of ordinal stuff going on or BRC20, there's stamps, there's all sorts of stuff happening right now on the main Bitcoin blockchain. And so fees are really high, like right now to get into the next block, it's gonna be about $10.19 for a simple transaction. And I've also seen the fees up to $40 for a simple transaction. If your transactions are more complicated than that, you could be looking at spending a hundred or more dollars in fees to do an on-chain transaction. So that's why people are starting to look at this at the Liquid Network because you can get a lot lower transaction fees. And so back over to our document here. And so people don't wanna leave their Bitcoin on an exchange because of course, counter party risk and things like that. You don't want the exchange to, you know, collapse or do something shady or get taken over by a state entity. So people want to self-custody their Bitcoin. However, it doesn't make sense to send small amounts off the exchanges as those fees that we just talked about are going to eat up the small UTXOs. And if you don't know what UTXO is, I recommend watching this video right here where I go all over the details of UTXOs and fees and all that type of stuff. So please check out this video if you need to learn more about UTXOs. But the main point is the, the fees are going to be quite significant, especially if you're doing little baby transactions. So right now, there's a strategy to send Bitcoin off an exchange so that way you have self-custody of your Bitcoin, but you convert it to LBTC and keep it in cold storage until you have a significant amount and then you peg it out to Bitcoin. And in doing it this way, you're making a large UTXO and ultimately spending less on fees while still keeping self-custody of your Bitcoin or LBTC. So basically, if you don't want to leave your Bitcoin on an exchange and you also don't want to pay a whole bunch in fees, then checking out the Liquid Network might be a very good option. And I'm about to show you exactly how to do it in this video. So first things first, we need to go ahead and set up SideSwap, which is a hot wallet, which means that it's going to be on your computer or on your mobile device. And of course, this is connected to the internet. So that means that it could be compromised and it's not as safe and secure as like a cold card or a ledger or something like that. However, you still have the keys and it's off the exchange. And also SideSwap allows you to peg into LBTC and peg out to Bitcoin. So you can just go to sideswap.io and they do have a mobile app as well as a desktop app. I'll be using the desktop app in this video, but the concept remains the same if you do wanna do this on a mobile device. So I'm just gonna to go to get app right here. I'm gonna go ahead and download it for Windows because that's what I'm on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install it real quick. And here we are in the welcome screen. Now you could go ahead and connect this to a Blockstream Jade, which is a cold wallet. And eventually I will make a video for the Blockstream Jade. So if I've done that, link in the description down below. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new wallet. And I'm gonna go ahead and agree. And I can set a pin for my wallet, but I'm not going to do that. And it does ask me if I want to back up my wallet and yes, I do. So this is gonna generate 12 words. This is considered my seed phrase, which is basically like my username and password for accessing my assets on the blockchain. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. And here's my 12 words right there. And so I'm gonna write them down on a pad of paper and keep it stored somewhere nice and safe. And then I need to confirm my words. And we have success here. So I'll click on continue. And it's asking if I wanna register my AMP ID to trade securities, which is a bit beyond the scope of this video and my intelligence. So I'm gonna say not right now. And there we go, my SideSwap wallet is all set up. Now let's come back over to my instructions here. 
So the next thing we need to do is get some LBTC. And so there's a couple ways to do it. The first way is to use a Lightning Network and a tool or an exchange called Balt Exchange, which I'll show you in just a second, and send it straight into our LBTC wallet from there. So to use the Lightning Network, there's different exchanges that actually offer it right away. So we have River, we have Strike, we have Cash App, we have Kraken that uses it as well. And I believe Binance also uses it. I don't have Binance in the United States, but if you're outside the United States and you have access to Binance, you might be able to, to use it. Also, I've heard that Coinbase will be adding Lightning Network support in the near future. So if you're buying your Bitcoin from an exchange that integrates with the Lightning Network, then you can go ahead and use this option right here. So basically, what we want to do is go to the bolt.exchange website and what we want to do is generate a lightning invoice that will pay through our lightning exchange and it'll automatically get converted into LBTC. So let me go ahead and plug in some sats right here. So I'll throw in like 100,000 sats, which should be about $40 right now. Now, one thing to note, there's this denomination button down here. So if you're like seeing crazy amounts, you might want to make sure that you're you're looking at sats versus Bitcoin. So I just wanted to point that out real quick, but also you can see the fees right here. So to send 100,000 sats, it's only going to cost me 678 sats, which is not a very big fee, especially when you're looking compared to on-chain transactions right now. And so what I need to provide next is an LBTC address. So let's come to our side swap wallet here. And I wanna to go to receive up here at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on my regular wallet right there. And so it's giving me an address right here. So I'll just go ahead and copy it and come back over to the Bolts Exchange and I'll plug it in right there and create atomic swap. And now it's created a lightning invoice for me to pay. And so I'll go ahead and load up the exchange that supports the lightning network. So I have strike right here. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my send. And then I'm going to scan a Bitcoin or lightning QR code. So I'm gonna tap on that. Loads up my camera. I scan this QR code and it gives me all the details. I'll go ahead and click on confirm down here at the bottom. And congratulations, the swap has completed successfully. And I can go ahead and click on open claim transaction right here. And I can see my transaction right here in the liquid network mempool. Additionally, if I go to the side swap app, I should see my transaction is pending. And we can see my transaction is right here. And we have a received transaction, confirmations is zero of two. So we need to wait for two confirmations in order to be able to use our LBTC. Now, fortunately, the liquid network is much faster than the regular Bitcoin network. And it usually takes about one minute per confirmation. And I don't know if you saw, but the block swapped over and we have one confirmation. So we just need to wait about one more minute to get to two confirmations. So we'll wait for that to happen. And there we go, we can see we are now at two confirmations and side swap should show two. Well, actually it just vanished. So that, that $43.36 or 99,322 sats are now in my wallet. And just like that, I have some LBTC. Now let's come back over to my little instructions here. So that's how you can go ahead and get LBTC over Lightning using the Bolt Exchange. Now, if you don't have an exchange that supports a Lightning Network, you can do a on-chain Bitcoin transaction into SideSwap where you peg in to LBTC. So we're gonna cover that right now. So here we are in SideSwap and I'll make it full screen. And down here at the bottom, you should see an option for peg in out. So if you go ahead and click on that, you should see the option to peg in right here where we're going to deliver Bitcoin and we want to receive LBTC. So that's called pegging in. And later in the video, we'll peg out, which is when you would convert your LBTC to Bitcoin. So you can peg in, which is Bitcoin to LBTC, or peg out, which is liquid Bitcoin to Bit Bitcoin. So we're pegging in now, and we're gonna go ahead and click on peg in. And it gives me a QR code or an address to send the Bitcoin to. So this is gonna be an on-chain Bitcoin transaction to this address, and it'll automatically convert to LBTC. Now the conversion rate is 99.9, .9, so it's only a 0.1% fee to convert from Bitcoin to LBTC. However, since this is an on-chain transaction, you will have to pay on-chain fees. Now, one thing, if you're sending from an exchange, sometimes they'll go ahead and batch the transactions and actually give you a lower price than like the on-chain transaction price. So hopefully your exchange offers something like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to my Bitcoin exchange, which is strike over here. I'm gonna do okay. 
And I'm actually gonna buy a little bit more Bitcoin real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on buy. And I'm just gonna buy $100 worth and next. And there we go, my purchase of $100 was successful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scan this QR code. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my send button here. And then I'm gonna go and send it to a Bitcoin or Lightning QR code and scan the QR code. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the maximum right there. And you can see Strike gives me a few different options, which is really nice. So I could do a priority one, which would mean that I get in like the next block, but that's $17.72 fee. So I'm paying that on-chain fee. I could also do a standard transaction. So this is where we'll batch the transactions together and I get to save a little bit of money. So it'll only cost me $6.37. Or I could do a flexible delivery time, which will take about 24 hours, but there's no fee. So this would be, you know, ideal if I had the time to wait. However, I don't because I'm trying to get this video done today. So I'm actually just going to do the standard delivery because I'm actually going to go eat lunch right now. So I do have about an hour. So I'll do standard delivery and then I'll tap on next. And then I'll go ahead and tap on confirm send. And there we go. It's all initiated. And now I'll come back over to side swap and I can go ahead and close this right there. And I'm going to go back home. And now I'm gonna go eat lunch and be back when the transaction is processed. Alrighty, so the peg in is currently happening. We can see the amount of Bitcoin I sent and the amount of LBTC or liquid Bitcoin that I'm receiving right there. So the, basically the fee is 0.11%, which isn't too bad. And I currently am waiting for one more confirmation before I can go ahead and use this LBTC. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this little box out. And just like that, we have 369,245 sats of LBTC or liquid Bitcoin in our wallet, which is about $161.22 at the current going rate. Let me come back over to my Google Doc. And that pretty much covers the two different ways to get LBTC into your wallet. Now, a slight caveat, there are some exchanges that actually use a liquid network, so you might not have to go through all these steps to get LBTC, but none of the exchange I actually use use the liquid network, so I have to go through these steps if I wanna get some LBTC. And so moving on with the video, the next thing I wanna talk about is playing with LBTC. Now you might not actually be interested in doing any of these things with LBTC, but since I have some in my wallet right now, I wanna show you some different things you can do with it. Now, if you're just trying to stack sats and you wanna do it with paying as little fees as possible and building large UTXOs and maintaining self custody and all that type of stuff, well, then you could probably just skip on down to pegging out to BTC. I'll have a timestamp down below so you could go ahead and skip the play with LBTC piece of the video. But since we do have some liquid Bitcoin, I'll show you some different things you can go ahead and do with it. So one thing you can do is swap to USDT or Tether within SideSwap itself. So right inside of SideSwap, let's say that you know Bitcoin shoots up 300% and you wanna go ahead and sell some of it, you can do that very easily. What you would do is you'd come over here to Instant Swap down at the bottom, and you could go ahead and swap from LBTC into USDT. Now note, it doesn't let you type in sats. You do have to type in the 0 .00, so 0 0.001, for example. So this would convert 10,000 sats into $4.06, essentially. And I could go ahead and click on swap right here. And just like that, the swap is taking place. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here. And I can go ahead and come back to home. And I can see that I now have USDT or Tether, so $4.06 worth. And it's actually still unconfirmed. I have one confirmation, so in another minute I should have both confirmations and then I will actually have the Tether in my side swap wallet. So just gotta wait a minute. And there we go, it's completely confirmed. Of course, I could go ahead and swap back. So let's say Bitcoin drops by 50% and I wanna convert my Tether, my $4 worth of Tether into LBTC. I could go ahead and do that right like that and click on swap and it would swap back, but I'm not gonna do that this exact second, but I think you get the idea, right? So you just click swap and poof, you got Bitcoin now. And so that's pretty nice that you can do both buying and selling right here within the side swap wallet. Now going back to my Google document real quick. So that's swapping. Now we could also use side shift, which is a different app to convert your LBTC or USDT to another network. For example, to send to Coinbase in order to like actually cash out to your bank account. And one thing to note, you might need to be using a VPN in order to access the side shift website. So I'm gonna load up my VPN real quick and I'm gonna stick myself in Germany. I know Germany works, so that's why I'm gonna get you know, select Germany for my VPN location. And there we go, I'm all connected. So now I'll load up side shift. 
and it's a sh side shift.ai. And so this site is pretty awesome because it supports a liquid network. So over here on the left, we could go ahead and type in liquid. Now we can see that we got LBTC right here. We have the legacy side shift token, which I've never used, but anyway, there's that option. Or we also have Tether right here. So we do have some Tether now that we could go ahead and use. So we click on Tether. And then over here is what we wanted to convert it to. So you can see this option, for example, is converting it to the Ethereum network Tether. So we could bring it from Liquid to Ethereum. And I could go ahead and plug in my Coinbase address here. I could go in my Coinbase account, go to Tether and deposit, and then make sure I'm using an ERC20 address. And now I can send my liquid Tether over to my Coinbase account where I can go ahead and liquidate it and put it in my bank account and then go out there and buy stuff in the real world. And of course, there are many different options here. So if I typed in USDT, there's you know ERC20, Avalanche, Polygon, BEP20, and so on. So many different blockchains that you can go ahead and integrate with. And it actually lets you use your assets on the Liquid Network, which is really nice. And I'll have another video on SideShift with more details. But I just wanted to show you that this is a thing that exists and it plays nicely with the Liquid Network. So coming back over here, another thing you could go ahead and do is borrow or lend on HODL HODL. So if you want to lend individuals some tether, you could do that. Or you could post your LBTC as collateral and take a loan out. So if you want to borrow or to lend, there's very various options here. And you could go ahead and select what cryptocurrency. So you can do you know USDT and on liquid and so on. So there's different options. And again, I'll have a video on HODL HODL if you're interested in learning more about it. But I just wanted to show you that there is a market out there for you to borrow and lend your liquid network assets, your LBTC or your Tether, and done in a peer-to-peer -peer type of way. Now coming back over here, there's also Fuji Money, which lets you borrow the Fuji USD asset. And so this could be something that if you're looking to post your LBTC as collateral and borrow a stable coin against it, then this could be a good option and might be worth checking out as well. And so I just wanted to show you some of those tools that exist out there. And again, I'll have more videos on them in the description down below. But really the main feature right now is to go ahead and talk about pegging out to BTC. So let's say that you went and you stacked a bunch of sats in your side shift wallet and they're all in liquid Bitcoin. Now you wanna go ahead and convert them to Bitcoin so you can put them in cold storage and lock them away on your cold card where you're not gonna to touch it for 10 years until Bitcoin is worth $300 million a coin. So let's come back over to side swap real quick. And here we are. So similar to how I pegged into LBTC, now I wanna go ahead and peg out to Bitcoin. So I'm gonna come over here to peg in, peg out and I wanna peg out this time. So I wanna convert some of my LBTC into Bitcoin right here. And I need to enter my Bitcoin address right here so I can go to my, my cold storage. So I have a wallet set up in Sparrow and I could go ahead and receive and copy my cold wallet address and plug it in here and then click on peg out. And just like that, I'm changing from my liquid Bitcoin into actual Bitcoin that is on chain. Now you might notice right here that the conversion rate is pretty poor. Like I'm sending 200,000 LBTC sats. However, I'm only gonna be receiving 112 actual Bitcoin sats. And that's because it's part of that on-chain transaction. So I have to pay on-chain fees. So you really wanna make sure that you have enough liquid Bitcoin in your wallet to make it actually worth this transaction. Like if I had 0.1 Bitcoin, then my conversion rate would probably be like 98% instead of this 56%. And so I hope I'm making some sense there. The main thing is you want a large stack of liquid Bitcoin before you convert it into actual on-chain Bitcoin because you are gonna be paying on-chain fees in order to do that transaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here now and we're gonna just come back home and I wanna go back to my Google Doc. And so yeah, that's how to use a peg out feature in order to convert your LBTC into BTC. And now another way you can kind of peg out of liquid Bitcoin is to swap to Bitcoin over the Lightning Network using the Bolts Exchange. So it's kind of going the opposite direction of the way we first came into Liquid Bitcoin when it went Lightning to Bolts Exchange to LBTC. We're doing it backwards now. And this isn't quite pegging out because I'm gonna be sending it to a custodian wallet and actually an exchange. But if you wanted to send it to a self-custodian Lightning wallet, you could do it that way. And that would be more like, you know, actually pegging out where you actually maintain control of your keys. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this real quick, how to do the opposite. 
So what we need to do is swap from Bitcoin over to Lightning using the Bolts Exchange. So let's come over here real quick. And in this case, we're going to convert Liquid into Lightning. So we'll do Liquid to Lightning right there. And then let's see how much Bitcoin or Liquid I have in my wallet. So I have 29621. So I want to go ahead and send, I'm just going to send 25, 1, whoa, 20, 25, 1, 2, 3. And it wants me to paste the Bolt 11 Lightning Invoice or Lightning Address or LN URL pay link right here. So I have my Strike account right here. And I can go ahead and click on this little person right here. And I can see my Lightning address right there. So I could send it right there, Nathan Williams at strike.me if I wanted to do that. And that would be the simplest way to do it. But I'm going to show you how to do it with an invoice just in case your wallet doesn't support a Lightning address. So if you have a, a Lightning address, I would recommend using that over creating an invoice. But anyway, if you create an invoice, we do this. And so I'm in my strike and I want to go ahead and receive Bitcoin. And I want to do Lightning Wallet. And I want to go ahead and specify an amount. So I'll click the little pencil icon. And we have it at 28, no, 24828 sats. And I'll click on Done. And then I have my invoice right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And then i got to get it over my computer. And usually I just email it to myself. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my Lightning Invoice right there. And create Atomic Swap. And then it asked me if I want to download my refund file. So if this swap fails, you'll have to refund your chain Bitcoin using your refund key. This key is stored in your browser's local storage by default, but can be lost if you do these things. So I'm just going to download it just to be safe. So download refund file and just save it to my desktop there. Now I need to go ahead and send 25054 sats to this address here. And it's looking for my liquid Bitcoin. I'm going to go ahead and copy this BIP21 right there. I'll go to my side swap wallet and I'm going to go ahead and do send and then to just paste that in there like that and make sure that the sats make sense 25054 okay and then I'll hit review and then I'll click on broadcast and now the bolts exchange is processing my transaction and there we go. I just received the Bitcoin into my Strike account just like that. So that is kind of a way to peg out and convert your liquid Bitcoin into actual Bitcoin over the Lightning Network by using the Bolts Exchange. So I just wanted to show you that that is a way as well. And that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative and you know a little bit more about the Liquid Network now. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And or please check out thebtccourse.com. It's a free website with lots of Bitcoin related training and blog posts and articles and things like that. It's just my way to try and give back to the Bitcoin community. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of the day.